and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is implement pow which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given two parameters b of double type and e of integer type and we have to implement this power function okay all right let's find out what this b and e signifies and what we have to do so basically it's a very very easy we have to just return b raised to the power e okay all right what does this mean this means let's suppose i got b is equal to 5 and i got e is equal to 3 so we just have to return what will be the value of 5 raised to the power 3 which will be equal to 125 so 125 will be my answer okay all right i think pretty simple problem statement is there and it will be very very clear to you but the approach the optimal approach is very bit tricky so let's move on one by one and let's first of all see the constraints which we are given so b which is the base can be anything its value can be anything from minus 100 to 100 okay all right e which is the power is can be anything from minus minus 10 raised to the power 9 to 10 raised to the power 9 okay and either b is not 0 or e is greater than 0 okay and uh, yeah that's it that is what we are given so what we uh, what is the first approach which comes in your mind uh, very very simple this is we will simply run a for loop uh, from i is equal to 1 and it will run till e and we will just keep on multiplying answer is equal to answer into b answer into p because basically we have to multiply uh, b to itself e times so that will be my answer if 5 raised to the power 3 it basically means key multiply 5 to itself by 3 times like 5 into 5 into 5 so this is what we will do we will simply run a loop from 1 to e and i will keep on multiplying my answer is equal to answer into base again and again and after coming out of this loop we will simply return our answer okay very very simple uh, approach is there but the constraints here are 10 raised to the power 9 and it can give me time limit exceed okay so we should think of a better approach and uh, there is a very very good observation which you will want to see so let's suppose i want to get 2 raised to the power 8 what will be the value of 2 raised to the power 8 it will be equal to what it will be equal to 256 okay all right now what i will do look 2 raised to the power 8 if i can can i write it something like 2 raised to the power 4 into 2 raised to the power 4 yes i can write it so basically look if no 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 yeah 2 raised to the power 4 into 2 raised to the power 4 okay so if i can somehow get the value of 2 raised to the power 4 i will multiply it two times and we will get our answer okay i think this point is very very clear so 2 raised to the power 8 is something basically equal to 2 raised to the power 4 multiply to it two times okay all right similarly if for 2 raised to the power 4 if i can get 2 raised to the power 2 value only and i will multiply it by itself i will get 2 raised to the power 4 okay and again 2 raised to the power 2 is basically 2 into 2 so here you can see in our first approach in our first approach we have to multiply 2 8 times we have to multiply 2 e times which is 8 but in the new approach we are just calculating we are just uh, trying to find 2 raised to the power 4 and then multiplying it by itself again so we will get 2 raised to the power 8 okay so we are very very let's say uh, logarithmic time we are moving to log time approach and uh, it's very very optimal as well uh, let me quickly move to one note where i can explain it very better to you okay all right so here uh, first of all i will start with let's suppose 2 raised to the power 7 okay 
All right. So what will be the value of two raised to the power seven? Can I write it something like two into two raised to the power seven by two into two raised to the power seven by two? Can I write it? Yes, I can write it. Why? Because two raised to the power seven is equal to two into two raised to the power three into two raised to the power three. Okay, all right. And now, if I can get, if I can just get two raised to the power three once, I will multiply it by itself and multiply by two as one as more because, uh, like basically, divide by two it will give me one remainder if the power is odd. And in that case, we have to multiply it once again. Okay, so basically, uh, powers work something like two raised to the power one, one plus three plus three, which is equal to seven. Okay, so we can write it in this way. Simple mathematical law. Okay, all right. So how we can find two raised to the power three? One approach is run a loop from one to three and multiply it, multiply two three times, which is not a good approach. So again, what I will do? I will simply get two raised to the power three is equal to two into three, which is my power divided by two into two raised to the power three by two. Okay, all right. We can write it very very simple. Yes. So what is the value of two raised to the power three by two? Is it basically two raised to the power one only? Two raised to the power one. Okay. Again, I will try to get it. What will be the value of two raised to the power one? So we can simply do if power is one, simply return the. If the power is one at any point, we will simply return what? Simply return that number. I think very very simple it is. If power is equal to one, simply return that number. So now look, 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 look. Two raised to the power one will return me two here. Will return me two here. Okay. So I will simply get two into two into two, which is equal to what? Two to the four to the eight. Okay. So eight will be returned here. Okay. So two raised to the power three is eight. And again, two raised to the power three. I have already got the value eight. So I can will simply write eight again, okay. And now eight into eight into two, which is equal to one twenty eight, and which is two raised to the power seven as well. So you can see we have just let's say uh, very much reduced the number of operations if I can get the value of um, power divided by two, okay. So only log n time it will take. To get all to get our solution, I think it will be very very clear to you now. So look at any point, what I'm going to do is very very simple. If and we will be using recursion here because it can run any number of times because power is power can be very long as well. Power can be as greater as ten raised to the power nine. Okay, so if I have to calculate ten raised to the power nine, what I will do? I will simply make it ten uh, raised to the power. Basically, ten into ten raised to the power four into ten raised to the power four. Okay, so if somehow I can get ten raised to the power four, I will get our answer, isn't this? And again, I will multiply break this down. Ten raised to the power four is equal to ten raised to the power two into ten raised to the power two. So here you can see if at any point my power is odd, I will multiply it one with base. Uh, multiply one with base and then again two times. Otherwise, if the power is even, if the power is even, we will simply multiply it by two times only. Okay, I think it will be very very clear to you. And uh, when I will write the code of it, uh, it will be crystal clear to you. So let me quickly move on to the code section. But before that, we I missed one case, which is uh, I can also have my power as negative, which is equal to two raised to the power. Minus seven, two raised to the power minus seven. So, if I got something like this, can I write it one divided by two raised to the power seven? Can I write it? Because when power goes in denominator from numerator, it becomes positive. So, two raised to the power minus seven is equal to one upon two raised to the power seven. So, if power is negative, we will simply return it one divided by 
okay i think it will be very very clear to you now let's move on to the code section then and believe me the code is very very simple it's just of line four or five lines and uh, if you have loved the approach till this point if you have loved the explanation please subscribe the channel like the video and comment as well because comments really motivate me and uh, make me happy okay so first thing is first if e is less than zero what does this mean this means power is negative so if at any point power is negative i will simply get the we will simply return one divide by power b comma e okay uh, which means uh, same thing which i have told e 2 raised to the power 7 so what i will do i will simply get one divide by 2 raised to the power 7 so power function of 2 7 and divided by 1 at last okay so again um, recursive call will be made to this function again power but this time it will be minus e it will be minus e basically uh, e is minus 7 so now it will be 1 divided by b into e 7 okay all right after that after that there are few cases if at any point e is equal to 1 it means 2 raised to the power 1 or anything like that so what i have to do i have to just return the base again okay so if anything is like this return base okay all right if at any point e is equal to 0 uh, i don't think we need to write this it will be automatically completed with this okay and now what we will do i will simply try to get in double um, something like half power half power is what half power is basically again calling this power function with base as same but now i am trying to get e divided by 2 okay so basically half power like if i have to get 2 raised to the power 8 now i will try to get 2 raised to the power 4 okay and now half power after coming here will have 2 raised to the power 4 okay so if you remember what i told i have to check ki if either e modulus 2 is odd or even because if it is even we just have to multiply half power again with itself otherwise we have to take multiply it by base once more okay if you remember i think i think you guys are getting this so very very simple it is return if it is even so i will simply return half power into half power again okay otherwise we have to return what base into half power into half power something like this very very easy let's quickly try to compile this once and guys i will request you to sit with pen and paper and try to understand this as well it's getting compiled successfully let me submit this so uh, i think this condition is very very clear okay it's taking some extra time let me check i think if i have to write one more case if e is equal to zero in that point i will simply return one because i have not handled that case so it will keep on going and going uh, let's quickly try to submit this again i think it should get accepted now yes yes it is getting accepted so i missed one case which i thought was not necessary but it was necessary so it is getting accepted and i think the problem statement is very problem code is also very very easy so sit with pen and paper try to understand this if you face any doubt ask in the comment section you will get this code on my github link is in the description and make sure to follow me on instagram as well follow me on youtube like the video and bye